everybody, it's me, Miss Lisa. I'm a children's librarian at South Huntington Public Library, and today I would like to show you how to make a reusable drive-by celebration banner out of materials that you have lying around your home. To make a banner, you will start with a piece of cardboard, preferably a large one that would look good from the, the porch of someone's house. If you don't have a big piece of cardboard, you can make one by taping it together with shipping tape or duct tape so that it's nice and sturdy. You will also need a piece of paper from a roll of paper like this. You can use wrapping paper, craft paper, plain white paper, anything you have will do. So first of all, I'm going to take my piece of paper, unroll it, and put it around, put, put the cardboard in the middle of it. I have just enough paper left on the edges to tape down the edges of the paper with some scotch tape. And this is where the reusable part of your banner comes in. This paper can be removed, so if you need to make a new banner for another birthday party or maybe a new baby or a wedding anniversary, you can very simply remove this paper and replace it with a new sign. All right, so now we have a nice big green banner and we can write our message on the front. And this is what we have so far. Our birthday message with what looks like a little bit of confetti flying around. Now to add some more bling to the banner. I don't have any streamers at home, so I'm going to cut up these pieces of Newsday bag. They make great fancy streamers. They look wonderful blowing in the wind outside your car window. So it's very easy, just cut them into strips. Make a few more. Okay, and as I said, I don't have any streamers, so I'm gonna use some tissue paper to make something that's a little bit streamer-like by cutting my tissue paper into strips like this. Okay. And then something else that might be fun to uh, attach um, to your banner is curling ribbon. Let me make a few more of these strips here. I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm getting so excited because I love these drive-by celebrations. They are a lot of fun. Okay, curling ribbon. This is nice because it's a little bit shiny. Even if you have Christmas colors at home or Easter colors or uh, wedding colors, it doesn't matter. Anything nice and shiny can be added to your banner. And think about the way it's gonna look as you're cruising by with that little bit of breeze and your sign is gonna, uh, you know, kind of go flowing outside alongside your car. All right, and one more. Okay, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna make little groups of uh, all this shiny stuff. I'm gonna bundle it together. Imagine this hanging off of the bottom of my banner. You can pinch the tops of this together, fold it over, and then give it a staple to hold it together. And let's maybe make three of these little bundles here. Okay, now we're gonna take this stuff and I'm going to use my heavy duty tape. I'm gonna tape it directly to the cardboard on the back of my sign. The reason why I'm going to do that is because when it's time to change my sign, I'm gonna peel away the dart of the green paper. I'll leave my bling. I'll add another piece of paper and I'll draw a new sign for the next occasion. And now, my banner is finished. It's ready for someone to hold on to, put it out the car window, and wish somebody a happy birthday, congratulations on your new baby, happy anniversary, whatever it is. Have fun creating and have fun celebrating from a safe distance. See you again soon.